so welcome to the video guys so Pokemon Go is now available and if you've been living under a rock this is what Pokemon Go is all about so you can catch Pokemon in real life using your AR which is augmented augmented reality butchering names I don't care um, but yeah it uses your GPS like Google Maps and you can click on Pokemon boom it's pretty standard I, I think a lot of people do know what it's about so I'm sure move on you get to battle gyms as well so for me a sort of local gym is a like sort of community centre. I haven't actually conquered that one, and it, it's just on the road to me. But I did beat the gym in town, a gym in town, which was a sports direct. Uh, funnily enough, so it just shows that gyms can be anything. Um, we have a first direct arena, that's a gym. We have memorial places that are gyms. There are also poker stops as well. Um, moving on to the next point, you get to meet new people as well. You can meet people playing Pokemon Go, and they're playing at the same time. I've been into town with my cousin quite recently, just playing Pokemon Go, and um, we didn't like actually meet meet people. Um, we just saw loads of people around a poker stop with a learn module. So he thought, you know what, we'll sit down here with all these guys and just catch some Pokemon together. I actually got a Trutini. Ooh, that was amazing. Um, also, I also put a learn module down. So boom. Um, yeah, and if you you know, it's a quite good game to be fair as well. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> So yeah, so if you read the title, you'll be like, unlock the second gen, um, how? Uh, disclaimer, it's just a theory, so it'll probably never happen, and this is just stuff I think about in my spare time, because, you know, Pokemon Go is a huge thing in my life now, <laughs> I think it's huge in everyone's life, but yeah, so, what I'm thinking is that second gen can and will be unlocked, I reckon, after literally catching all of the first gen characters. But there's one slight problem with that, you see. You can't catch them all because there are five Pokemon that haven't been seen at all. Um, nobody has a clue where they are, how to get them. No one's seen them. Um, I'm piling they, they are in the game because someone's had the code and found uh, images of them, obviously. Um, and the five Pokemon, yeah. Um, so to catch them all, you're going to need to have the legendaries too. Obviously, I've just said that. But there's one Pokemon that you do need. That is part of this theory, which isn't a legendary, but I'm just going to go through legendaries first. I'm not going to go into detail because everyone knows legendaries in Gen 1. So, first off, you've got Mewtwo of the Cerulean Cave, and then you've got Mew, the ancient Pokemon, and then you've got the legendary birds. So, you've got Zapdos, Moltres, and Ikuno. So, yeah, and then there's this guy, Ditto. Yeah, a Ditto is literally one of the rarest Pokemon Pokemon Go right now. As of right now, I think. A total of zero have been caught. Zero. <laughs> and to think, like, a ditto. Hmm. Okay. So, we all know that the legendary birds, right? They're the mascots of Team Valor, Mystic, and then whatever the electric one is. I do not know. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, go Team Mystic. I'm Team Mystic. Fuck Valor. <laughs> Joking. But, yeah, I think they're going to be accessible just through that, you know, through the... Uh, the your team leaders or through an event of some sort to do with your um, your teams that you chose. But Mew and Mewtwo to me is a different story. So what if Ditto can be evolved in Pokemon Go? Imagine if he can evolve into Mew or even Mewtwo. That'd be crazy. Or imagine if you evolve into Mew and then Mew evolves into Mewtwo somehow. I know that sounds crazy because yeah, they're trying to base off the games I reckon. But with the fact that there isn't any stones in the game and Eevee can evolve naturally just by giving it candies and it'll randomly um, you know, evolve into a uh, Vaporeon, Jolteon or even uh, what's it, Flareon, my favourite one as well, I forgot that. But Pokemon Go is not even made by the same people, I don't think, I think it's Niantic that have mainly done it, sort of. So I think they've got a huge say in it and they can do whatever they want with events, which I will be talking about later on. Um, but yeah, imagine Mew, no not Mew, <laughs> Ditto even, evolving into Mew and Mew evolving into Mewtwo or the other way around, or you can evolve into either of them at a, you know, random chance just like Eevee. Um, but then this is the last year I have, which is the Pokemon events. Now, I reckon there could be Pokemon events in the future, just like the one that we saw in the trailer with the Mewtwo, where everyone had 10 minutes to take down this Mewtwo which was level 70 and in that trailer they had the levels obviously so 
it's nothing like the trailer. I'm. It might not be exactly like that. I reckon there will be events, but I think it'll be play, placed events. So if you come first, second, or third, based on whatever team you're in. So for example, if you come third, you could win a Ditto. Uh, second place would be at Mewtwo, and in my opinion, Mew would be at number one because he's much rarer. And that's probably going to be one of the ways you win the legit Pokemon, unless you can actually have a slight chance of finding them in the wild, but I'm not sure. But hey, that was just a theory. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was my first ever theory um, I've actually posted on this channel.